Deep Down Cleaning, your one-stop cleaning outfit for Deep Down Results. John Moore reporting for SportsAndMore.com from the Civic Arena in Halifax, joined by Zach Sill, 27-year-old, uh, recently signing a, a one-year two-way deal with the Washington Capitals. Tell us uh, a little bit about the, the opportunity as you, as you see it, Zach. Uh, you know, I, I think it should be a good opportunity. Um, former uh, head coach of mine is the assistant coach there, and, and uh, you know, I know a couple of guys there in the organization, and, and uh, it seemed like a good fit for me uh, when it came signing time, and, and uh, I'm pretty excited to get, uh, get the year going. As I mentioned, 27 years of age. You bounced around the American Hockey League for five years, then a couple of years in Pittsburgh, and then on to uh, the Leafs la last year. Uh, is this, are uh, you at a sort of a crossroads in your career? Uh, I think so. I, I think it. Uh, last year was a big was a big step for me. Uh, you know, trying to. You know, I stayed up the entire season in the NHL, and that was uh, that was a goal of mine at the very start. You know, and, and this year, signing a, a two way contract again. Um, that, that's a goal. My goal again this year is to stay up the entire year and, and to build uh, to build on what I what I started last year. What's allowed you to get to where you are now? I mean, it's been it's taken a little time. You played in the queue with the Moncton Wildcats, of course. Remember those days well, but. Uh, What's allowed to get to where you are now at 27? Um, I think uh, surrounding myself with the right people, getting you know, being in contact with the right people, and, and, and working hard, and um, you know, having good coaches that uh, that could reward somebody for, for hard work, and that's always uh, that's always a bonus, you know, and when you can get rewarded for uh, for the good things that you do, and uh, that's what I'm trying to do, and, and hopefully I run into you know keep running into coaches like that. You have a reputation as being a good teammate, and yet. Uh, uh, somewhat of an irritant uh, with the opposition. Is, is that is that the game you have to play to, to play at that upper level? I think so. Um, you you got to be good in the dressing room. You got to be uh, you know you be loud. You got to be talkative. You got to be you know kind of a, an upbeat guy and, and bring energy to a squad. And uh, and that does uh, that, you know it comes with being a pass on the ice and and uh, you know taking off the other team uh, when it's when it's time to do that. What uh, what could you see your role? Uh, are you are you uh, destined to be a, a fourth liner in, at the NHL level, or do you see perhaps another opportunity? I mean, I think the you know bottom six is, is uh, I don't know if I'd ever play on the, you know on the top two lines. I, I'd love to if given the opportunity, um, but uh, bottom six is, is more my more my style. I believe uh, you know physical, hardworking. I you know love the penalty kill, and. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know how many points I can bang up in a season, but uh, it's not going to be something outstanding, but uh, enough to, uh, you know, enough to, you know, try to keep me playing for years to come here. Jumping tracks here just a bit. Uh, last uh, week out at the BMO, you were working with, with some other other pros, including Sidney Crosby, who was a teammate of yours in Pittsburgh. Of course, you got to know Sid f fairly well there. But uh, uh, what what can you tell us about uh, Sidney as far as as a, being a teammate? Uh, unbelievable teammate. He, uh, you know, he's a great, great captain. He's a great guy all around, and uh, he, uh, it's, it's just awesome being on the ice with him and you know other guys on that team as well in Pittsburgh. You know, there's so many, you know, really good hockey players. A lot of you know guys that play on the national team and, and that sort of thing. So you get to practice with those guys every day. Um, it's uh, it just makes you better and. And to be able to, to do that, it, it, it was an honor. And, and now I'm moving on to a new team, and, and they had you know, new stars on that team. So I, uh, I'm hopefully just going to you know, keep learning from some of the greats in the, in the league. Finally, uh, I know you're working hard getting ready for the, for the camp. Uh, but uh, when you're home uh, in, in Brookfield, uh, what, what, what does uh, Zach Silda do to get away from the game, to get away the pressures of the game and, and your, your hockey career? Um, Brookfield, we're we're kind of out there a little bit. Uh, our family, we have uh, you know a little hobby farm, I guess. Me and my brother, we got a couple of cows and pigs, and and uh, we recently got a horse. So we we got a, we got a lot of things on the go that that kind of keep us kind of keep us busy out there. And and you know, family and friends, I got it's all around Brookfield there for me. So it's uh, it's always nice coming home. Finally, is is fishing not in your uh, summer? Because I was told at one point that you were a fisherman. Yeah, fishing is. It usually uh, early on. It's too hot right now. I used to do a lot of brook fishing. Not not so much in the in the big water. So you got to be uh, lumbering through the woods with uh, your little ice fishing rod to getting in and around all the brambles and bushes and trees and and that sort of thing. It's just uh, she's a little hot in the woods for that right now. 
Well, Zach, good luck. We'll be following you uh, as you head off to head off to the pro camp. Thanks very much. Thank you, man. Okay, Zach Sill, again, my guest here. John Moore reporting for SportsAndMore.com.